Is cow tipping real? My brother and I are debating it. And we've come to the realization that we actually don't know anyone who's done it. We know people who know people. But we aren't seeing any video evidence anywhere. The activity is real. But the result is not. The cows don't tip. Sleeping or not. But plenty of people will still go out tipping because someone new has been talked into it by others who already know better. Then they'll go. Try. Fail. Maybe get chased by a cow. Maybe fall in a cow pie. Everyone has a good laugh. Cow tipping is a good way to get yourself trampled or kicked by an 800 pounds animal. No. I have tried. The cows are really menacing and uncomfortable to be that late at night. They are big and you can tell they don't want you there. Cows sleep lying down. Grew up on a farm surrounded by more farms it's not. Cows are hundreds of pounds. And the second you touch a bull you're getting your ass handed to you. It's an old urban legend. People who think cow tipping is real have never been up close with a real cow before. They weigh a billion pounds and one person can't just walk up and tip them over. It would take a group of people to do it and by the time they tried to, the cow would be awake and if they're lucky just get annoyed and walk off. This whole tipping thing is getting out of hand. Now we tip the cows? Nope. Urban legend. It would take more than one person and an incredibly specific set of circumstances to tip a cow. Since most cows don't just stand around and say oh my. I am falling over oh dear. They tend to resist. If wager 99 myth. I grew up in a rural area. And of course some idiots tried cow tipping. Emphasis on tried. A typical cow weights just shy of one ton. Running into one of those beasts is just crashing your head into a giant meaty wall. A wall that gets very. Very angry when someone tries to knock it over. And has horns. Hilarious watching those idiots turn into Olympic sprinters suddenly. Right after they bounced like idiots off the cow's side. No. I grew up on a ranch. Cows sleep laying down unless in extreme cold where they will huddle together to stay warm. Yay cows are cool and if you go try mess with them they gang up against you and you poop her pants. No, it's fake. Certainly it's real. If your cow provided normal service. 15 is the normal gratuity. If your cow provided exceptional service. Tip all you can. Those farmers don't pay those poor cows anything beyond room and board. Definitely not. I grew up on a ranch with cows. It was long before this tipping myth started. So it's not something I've ever seen tried. But I'm pretty certain it's not possible. Unless you could convince the cow to stand on two legs. On the same side. Tears of joy. Cows are cool AF as long as you don't fuck with them. Go tip a cow and have a hospital room reservation handy. Yes. But the idea is to scare the cows into being clumsy or falling over I have never heard of anyone. Physically tipping them over. Nor would I see how it'd be possible. They're very large. And they can just leave while you're trying. Edit source is I live in a rural place and this is just the word I've heard for pestering freaking. Out cows for fun. It's as real as snipe hunting. Brothers don't shake hands. Brothers got a hug. It's something that country people tell city people lol. You can't really tip a cow. By the time you could hit it with enough force to actually tip it it would wake up in either hand. Your ass to you or take off. If you want to see what would happen if you tried to tip a cow. Watch Tommy Boy with Chris Farley lol. My cows always laid down like a big dog to sleep. You're not sneaking up on one and if you do it will absolutely murk your ass. We were being quiet one night cutting through a neighbor's field to get to a buddy's house. Pitch black out. As soon as I heard the THDDDRAPTHDDDRAPTHDDDRAP I looked at my friends and said run. 
That bull was huge and knew we were in his field from one eighth mile away. Ha 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 ha. No. Grew up in dairy country. Cows sleep laying down. The whole thing is made up to get city people to make fools of themselves. The largest NFL lineman could hit a cow at full speed and sustain more injuries than the cow. You're talking about an 802,000 pounds wall of muscle. I grew up in Nebraska. Cow tipping is something you tell younger kids about in the context of something that the cool kids do. You would get them all excited to go. Drive two or three of them a couple of miles out of town to a field. Let them out of the truck while you stay to keep watch. And then drive away as soon as they're over the fence. It's made up. Cows tip over all the time. But only because they decide they want to lay down or roll in the grass. Most cows weigh well over a thousand pounds. If cow tipping was ever real it was hazing for the new guy in town lol p. They're heavy and won't even budge. That is. If you can even get close enough. I went cow tipping in college but never got close enough to a cow. As an adult, I finally got to push a cow up close and realized it's impossible. In the US you're expected to tip a cow 20 after milking or butchering it for food. I asked my farmer friend about it. And his response made perfect sense. So you're just going to push over a 1 KLBS cow? Never mind if you get one of the old, cranky bitch cows that live forever. She'll kick you. I can tell you from owning a dairy farm and working with all kinds of cows. Cow tipping is just a prank thing to do. You try knocking over a 1,200 pounds cow and you'll get nothing or a mean mama that hurt will you bad. Not all cows can be friends. You'll probably step in cow manure trying to. Not a fun activity to just piss off a cow and a farmer. Only if the service is good. I have been cow tipping in a time where in order to take video evidence we would have had to steal. Someone's dad's huge camcorder and bring our own light source a torch? A big ass flashlight with 4D batteries? And record on a VHS? No cows ever tipped over. Though. They're huge solid things. I suppose you could tip over a calf. But why would you? Those are for petting and getting licked like a huge puppy. You have to go snipe hunting first usually, that takes place at dusk. Back in the day I can say my friends and I were one for five. It's also really bad for the cow. As you can get their intestines all twisted. Also. They can fuck you up. Cows aren't just big piles of meat. They are an animal and will defend itself. It's more likely that it fucks you up. Than you tip one. I don't know, I always use money when I tip. Stick to snipe hunting. Are you familiar with Kiwaskum? W.I.? Probably not. It's like 25 miles north of Milwaukee. I grew up going there. And I remember the home plate burger place. Anyhow, we tipped some cows. We pushed them from dam near the ass and they fell and just laid down for the best sleep they ever had. They were already sleeping while standing up so like no big deal. They stayed asleep. When I walked off I whispered. You're welcome. I honestly think all the cows near Kiwaskum sleep lying down now. Due to genetic adaptations. I have gone cow tipping. It did not go well. As real as snipe hunting which is even more fun. I tried once. The cows were always awake. Then I was trampled by a calf. It was karma and that shit hurt face with head bandage. It's real my dude. In today's modern dairies. Most cows have tip jars. Tipping is really common these days and those cows have bills to pay. I never found those snipes either. Never give them more than 10 as they won't thank you.